Okay, welcome back to the final wrap up here of uh, The Cube, a special presentation, exclusive coverage of NetApp's most awesome, most excellent, chillin' customer uh, party here at AT&T Park. This is the baseball field, the home of the San Francisco Giants. We're actually on the outfield grass. I'm John Furrier, with my co-host Dave Vellante. Um, and this is an extension to our VMworld 2013 coverage, where we are live every day for three days in the main lobby of Moscone South. What a treat, Dave, to be here on the lawn, on the outfield. We talk about the ESPN attack. We both it's love awesome. sports. I was just here for the Red Sox series on the interleague games. Ronnie Lott just walked by. <laughs> Ronnie Lott, come on, Ronnie. <laughs> <on, you know? laughs> um, great event for NetApp. Props to NetApp. Again, second year in a row. They bring the cube this year. Last year we were doing stand-up, but great event. What's your take about this event here? Well, this is they stepped it up from last year for sure. So last year they did VMworld, they did Oracle Open Worlds, stepped it up this year. I understand VMware is having its VMworld party here tomorrow night, so they're taking yeah. a page. NetApp setting the trend. They did a really good job here. You know, and NetApp, you know, Tom Georgian's very staid CEO. You know, he's not flashy, but you know, he 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 let it out tonight. Let his people roll up the sleeves. So that's good. You know, John, here's the thing about NetApp. They are, as I said a number of times tonight, the last pure play independent storage company of you know, any significant size. I mean, you've got other guys, you know, Fusion IOs, public company, Violin's doing public, but NetApp, you know, multi, multi-billion well, dollar we, company. Jeff, bring that, we might as well, so we have some, we have some sponsorship <laughs> here. Um, San Francisco Brood, Francisco Anchor <laughs> Steam. Uh, uh, great. This is uh, like the, the Coke uh, bottles. I think someone's been drinking yeah. this one. Uh, <laughs> Anchor Steam, San Francisco local beer. We're live in San Francisco. We're proud to be here. Um, special sponsor, Anchor Steam Beer, The Cube. Dave, The Cube, it's got your anchor disc on the field. It's beautiful, John, I tell you. Great interviews. And so, uh, yeah, the venue's great. So I want to talk about NetApp for, for a minute. So this is a company that's in transition, right? They, they, their imperative was to get clustered on tap out to the marketplace and, and really try to drive further innovation into their platform. And um, you know, NetApp's under fire, right? A lot of competition in the industry, a lot of transitions, but they've, they've weathered the storm. Uh, they came out of the, uh, the recession very, very strong, um, but they're not without challenges. So what are some of those challenges? So NetApp really has to continue to prove out its clustered ONTAP, build up proof points, demonstrate that it can compete, you know, head to head in the cloud and remain independent. And it has to do so with a partnership strategy. More than any company, NetApp's Partnerships, its ecosystem, and its channel strategy are yeah. fundamental to the future growth of the company and its, you know, yeah. long-term survival. Dave, I wrote, I, wrote a, I wrote a post on Forbes that you and I both wrote called the uh, Software Defined NetApp, and that really was a, uh, a post that set the stage for what we're really seeing NetApp execute on. That's clustered on tap. They are going in, guns blaring. They aren't going to take it from EMC. EMC's trying to pin down NetApp with the over-marketing spend that Jeremy Burton, who's a good marketer, he's trying to outspend NetApp. And to me, it's a guerrilla warfare. NetApp can play in the shadows. They got smart people there. They can change the game. If they can change the game with the software and the software led, they can be nimble. And that's how, you know, quite frankly, the American Revolution beat the, the British Redcoats in the open field. NetApp's out in the open field. They shouldn't go out in the open field. And they're playing well, smart. I got to give NetApp credit. If ONTAP has legs and runs hard with software defined storage, that could be just the, the little thing that slips them in, in, into a leadership position in a big way. Well, I think, this is, it's, again, it's an interesting crossroads. I've had this conversation with Tom Georges before. Is, you know, for the last 20 years, competition has occurred on individual layers of the value chain. And being an independent, pure play storage company has been historically an advantage. You know, however, as the industry converges, it's, it's tougher and tougher. So how does NetApp deal with that convergence? They deal with that convergence through partnership. So it's got to be better at partnership, partnering than anybody else. And partnering is not easy, sort of, you know, number one. I mean, I think the other thing that you're seeing here is, you talk about, about EMC. NetApp is the one company who consistently has been able to compete against EMC. Now, certainly HP, IBM, Dell, and Oracle compete against EMC, but they compete largely on the basis of their server businesses. That's where they compete. Look at, I, Only yeah. NetApp competes, you know, across Here's the, the thing. board. Here's in the, the thing. Pe NetApp is NetApp is being targeted by EMC, and that's a direct threat and complement to NetApp. At the same time, EMC is worried about NetApp. They got a bigger fish to fry, in my opinion. So, so we're live here. We're getting the hook here. We're gonna pull us out, Dave. Got a great John. venue. Hey, what do you think? Awesome job. This is a great day. We've gone from 10 o'clock. A.M. to 9 p.m. This is, I think, the longest cube, 11 hours straight cube. Shout out to NetApp for having the vision to bring the cube out on the field. And again, great executives. You hear the professionalism from NetApp. The executives here, Dave, 
professional, technical. They know their stuff. They're humble. They're not. They're they're a very humble but hard charging uh, personnel at NetApp. Thanks to NetApp, Dave. Great day. We, longest cube day we've ever done. Ten ten in the morning to what time is it? Nine ten at night. <laughs> Twelve <laughs> hours uh, uh, of of coverage. Thanks so much, Dave. This week, Mark and team. Thanks for working hard, guys. Awesome job. Um, that's a wrap. We're getting booted live. Tomorrow Here's morning. Special cube presentation, AT&T Park. See you tomorrow Dude morning. In. Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 840, 9 o'clock. Pat Gelsinger tomorrow morning on the queue back at the, at the anchor desk at VMworld. That's a wrap live from uh, San Francisco, AT&T Park in the outfield.